The NHL has a CTE problem, and they keep denying it. NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman has once again denied the link between playing hockey and getting CTE. A study by the Boston University on a small pool of hockey players found that 60 to 70 percent of them suffered from CTE, including the names of Derek Bugard and Bob Probert. In 2021, the NHL settled a lawsuit against former players for a total of $18 million. Yet the NHL spent $70 million in legal fees to fight that lawsuit. The NHL's main argument was to continue to deny the link between CTE and playing hockey, as well as stating that the NHL players assume the risk by playing in the NHL. But when hockey culture is to do whatever you can to stay on the ice, the NHL needs to step in and protect the players from themselves. The addition of concussion spotters has helped improve the NHL's protection of their players. Yet many wish the NHL would just admit the link is true and help pay for medical treatment for former NHLers who helped grow the game.